Hey there, everyone. This is Doxa 2K7, aka Sun Sky Caesar. I hope you're having a fantastic uh, Thursday night. Well, you know, with all the things. Well, I guess this is no surprise. I mean, woke fans are now beginning to reject woke sports, and it's no surprise. I mean, people people are sick and tired of it. I ain't sure as hell it is. I hate wokeness. I hate every fiber of it. And in sports, and putting woke politics in sports, it's a, it's really bad. It's really terrible, in my number one opinion. But, um, well, let me give you a rundown. Well, let me tell you, everybody hates it. And nobody can say, oh, it's some random political smuck on, on, on YouTube say that. No, this was, t this was according to, to both YouGov and, and Yahoo News Post. Let's take a look at this. I'm reading this out of Outkick the Outkick. Nearly half of Americans change sports viewing habits because of woke social justice. Again, no fucking surprise. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is this is created by Bobby Burak. Burak. Sorry if I mess up your name, man. I am so sorry. No, let me read. As they say, if you need a break from politics, turn off sports. The social justice warriors in the sports media may claim that fans haven't haven't mined the far left takeover of sports in recent years, but they are lying. They always been lying. According to New Gov and Yahoo News, World, nearly half of Amer nearly half of America has changed. Changed. Oh crap! Yeah, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Pokemon, man. I, I got Pokemon on my laptop. Sorry. Do, 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 do. I fought. I fought. Internet Explorer will help. I know. I know. Who, who still use Internet Internet Explorer? Internet Explorer on in 2021. You'd be surprised. You be. You'd be surprised. There are a lot of people who still use it. Use it, but. Whatever, whatever. Okay. Yeah, apparently, um... Apparently, sports has changed their viewing habit... Has been changing their viewing habits because of one reason and one reason only. It's because people are just sick and tired of... If it's because sick and, people are sick and tired of reading this, hearing the same craziness of the whole, oh, woke stuff. And people are tired of it. People are tired of it because they don't want to hear the crazy, the crazy woke stuff that's on the court. Like, like I said, like I said, who cares about what's happening in the world world? Last time I checked, when people go to the woke, go to sports... They get away from that. They get away from that crap. It really is. It really, really, really is. And they keep. And the thing is, what these woke idiots in sports fail to realize is that people do not want to go watch sports just to be talked about. Oh, how bad life. Oh, how bad life is is for people of color or other that. And also, I'm sick and tired of. People saying people of color, because I feel like it's really dumb on so many levels. Just saying that, say that, and people are sick of it. And you, and you think you would think that people like it, like that would get this message, right? F no, they, heck no, they still won't. They still won't get politics out of it. And you think that's, and you think, and you think that's bad? Oh no, it's. Oh, you it gets even worse because now you got you now you got because you know last night ESPN decided to have President Joe Biden on the program who say that he is that he might support the whole you know the MLB moving its All Star game out of Atlanta over the over the Georgia over the Georgia voting bill. That is so stupid. That's really so fucking stupid. And I might as well read it right here. Here it is. The Georgia Kemp, Georgia Governor Kemp roasts Biden on the All-Star Game stance. 
Georgia Georgia Governor Brian Kemp didn't hold back on President Joe Biden for his criticism of Georgia's new voter restriction rules. Biden compared the law to 21st century Jim Crow because you know that's how Democrats do, man. They always want to bring it, want to make everything into a freaking race issue. Stupid! It's stupid, and it's getting old. And Kemp ha was having none of it. He also took the exception to the president's attempt to move the MB MLB All-Star Game out of Atlanta, which, to be fair, is absurd. When the president, when the president of the United States said something, you know a lot of people pay attention. But what Joe Biden needs to do is look at a side-by-side -side of Georgia and Delaware. He's focused on trying to get Major League Baseball to pull the game out of Georgia, which is ridiculous. I don't think he has any idea what's in the bill. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp called out Joe Biden for misrepresenting an outright line about the state's new electoral laws. The Georgia, see, the thing is, the Georgia law will require ID verification for absentee voters, and that's all it takes to compare to compare to Jim Crow n nowadays. What's most notable here is that this clause is not allowed. What want voter ID in your home state? Well, now you have the President of the United States campaigning against you. And quite literally attempting to damage your local economy. Can't even send tweets that the mainstream media disagrees with or you risk being banned from all social media platforms in unison. Now we have Joe Biden who can barely walk up a flight of stairs, basically require the country run the country to runs how he see fit. It's all authoritarian and can't become acceptable behavior to the American people. Here's what Joe Biden said in, about the all star game. He said that I quote <clears throat> I think today's professional athletes are acting incredibly responsible, Biden said in an interview with ESPN. I would strongly support them doing that, moving the, all, moving the game. People look up to them. They're leaders. First of all, the American people don't look up for professional athletes or celebrities in general. But this is exactly what Joe Biden and the mainstream media wants. You celebrity worship to funnel the middle class into behaving exactly how they please. Think that way, think the way they think, and walk and talk the way they talk. In case, in this case, Biden wants the American people to want the same voter regulations that benefits Democratic leadership, which, of course, is backed by none other than the celebrities themselves. It's a scene straight out of Kingsman. Really good one. And hopefully, Brian, Governor Brian Kett wins this battle because he's serving as a levy against big government. Yeah, but there's a, and it's funny how, and even some people even say that too. It's amazing how these politicians have become actors. No thought of their own. Just spit those, just spit the socialist line. I mean, let's just, well, let's just say that, um, Biden is not getting a bunch of fanfare from his, from the people who just, Wanna, who just want to watch sports, or in some cases, want just want to make sure that the the election, that the whole election crap doesn't go down like it did back in 2020. Because we all know that's a, because we all know that's a goddamn can, can, of, can of words. But like I said, I just put that out there because it does tie into sports. And yes, what everyone is saying is the straight up truth. People are sick and tired of this sports about these woke sports crap I mean heck we don't sports fans are rejecting it because they, they're so sick and tired of these multi-million dollar woke mo woke mofos trying to tell people that well no surprise they how bad America is oh how oh how racist is all that stuff is it's so tiresome it really is but like I said like I said, you know the password on the Wi-Fi back in the uh, out there. Uh, I think so. the password. Yeah, it's on the box. I was, you gonna look for it from because I can't see. Yeah, sure. Let me finish this up. All right. Okay. Well, I gotta let, let you go on this one. I'll I'll pick it up tomorrow. Until next time, this is Doc Two K Seven, aka Sauce Guys. Inside out. Catch you later. Peace.